Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Thou and I play video games and this looks to be Greedy Hill. It looks like the more greedy you are, there's metal balls of death, okay. Looks like the more greedy you are, the more likely you are to die. I'm not sure if it's uh, talking about being greedy about time, but I am uh, just traveling up this way. Ow. I know I could stop these with Magnesis, probably totally could, but I'm just going to ignore them for now. Oh, there's money! Wait, since when has there been money just falling down? Oh my god. Oh. I want it, but... I think that's the point. Greedy Hill is meant to test your greed. Oh, there's more metal balls. Why is there just money flying down the side of the hill? That's what I want to know. Is there going to be more hills with more money being thrown at you? No, this is just it. That's it. It's done. I kind of want to go back down, though. Okay, um, let's try this out. Eh. So first off, let's check this out. Bomb arrows! That'll replace the ones I wasted by trying to blow my blow up enemies and blow load myself? I blowed myself up. Ooh. There's a chest back here. Totally would have never notice that if I hadn't backtracked. What's in this chest? Tell me all your secrets. It's a ruby. That's not a bad find either. Alright. So I'm assuming there's money down here. Just lots and lots of money. Yeah, look at that. There's just tons of money. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Okay, we got all that. Now let's get all this down. Yep, I was going to say, that looks like it's a bottomless pit. Not probably a good idea to go down there. Oh, what, did this reset? Okay, no it didn't. Okay, good. Alright, I will meet you guys actually after I am out of the shrine. Because it's going to take me a while to sprint back up this thing. That was weird, I just... Basically watch those two boulders pop into existence. Alright, and we have actually headed back down to the southern mine first here. There's a reason for it, actually. If you remember, these Gorons were probably a little bit too busy with their daily mining to talk with us. So let's talk to these guys. Hey there, what's up? Why, my, why is my older brother Grayson always complaining about stuff? I don't know, but why? Why don't you know? If you're a grown-up, you should always say the truth. I, I don't know. Dig faster, dig. I can't eat another bite, Grumble. Uh, it looks like there's actually still a few people working. Probably um because it's easier to do it during the night as well. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? I'm Grayson. I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and dig. Day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this, Sai. If you know about another job I can do that would use some uh, good use of my strength, let me know, will you? Heh, I'm exhausted. But now I've got some time to talk, so what do you want to ask me? Who are you? Me? I'm Jango. I'm a proud Goron of Goron City. If we dig up ore like this, Goron City will prosper. Everyone wins. Anything else you want to ask? What is this place? Take a look around. This is where we dig up ore. We call it the Southern Mine. The lizard dr uh, monster on Death Mountain calmed down, so the boss has instructed us to start mining the site again. Anything else you want to talk about? Nah, not really. Let's see what this guy's doing. Huh. Who the heck? At this hour? I'm a traveler. Ha! Ah, go ha ha I'll give it to you straight. Wise eyes don't play tricks. Actually, I've got to interpret you real quick. I've got good eyes on you, little guy. Honest eyes. At my age, I see a lot of things. I could tell you're no run-of-the-mill Hylian just uh, look at, by looking at you. So go ahead. Ask me anything you want. As you see, this is a mine. I sell ore. Our home, Goron City, profits from that. We used to mine by the summit, but there was a lizard monster lurching those magma bombs and everything. We did. We just decided to make the most out of digging here. Uh, who are you? I am uh, Borin of Goron City. I was once young and strong. Now I'm old and wrinkled. But worry not. There is still a lot of fight left to me. No, not really. I think I'm done. Okay. So we do actually have a little bit of backtracking to do here. No. Guys, Blood Moon starting. I don't even have to see it. I know it's a Blood Moon just based off of the sound. 
And look at that sky. <laughs> I've actually never heard the music in that much detail before, because I, uh... I don't know, it's just music. I don't know, just the music that time around was a lot more intense. And actually, that kind of reminds me, don't we need to... Do we need to be somewhere on the Blood Moon? I think that was kind of up here. I don't think we have a lot of time, but I'm gonna try and get there. Um, so this completely actually destroyed my plan, so... Great! <laughs> Where's the song of time when I need it? What if I just need to slow down time so I can get to where I need to go in a hurry, but not have to worry about running out of time? Also, is it no longer... What? Ooh, what? What is that? I literally just got a thing about if you see where... Okay. That's ironic. I just got a thing about um, shooting stars actually is one of my tips. And I have a shooting star that just landed. Um, I can't quite see it, so I hope that beacon stays there for a while. Man, just all sorts of things are happening this time. I hope I don't lose where that landed. I'm just kind of going in a general direction. Okay, good. It's still got... I ran out of stamina. I'm way too excited about this. I want to know what's at the shooting star. I've been getting tips about the shooting stars for quite a while now. This is actually the first shooting star I've ever seen. First ever shooting star I've gotten on camera, too, I should say. Definitely. Um, let's go check it out. I, there's so much hill in the way. I just need unlimited stamina for a little while. Come on. You can't give that to me? I'm trying to pace myself, but I'm super excited. Okay. Okay. Um, no. I need... I need... I need, I need that. Um, let's head down there. Yeah, 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 I, I'm not concerned with you. Also, it really sucks that I fast traveled and the blood moon went away, but we have got ourselves a shooting star on the horizon. It's actually right after this area, ironic. I'm not gonna fast travel because I'm really worried that I might actually get rid of it. Also, someone just uh, jumped on Battle.net. I'm easily distractible, okay? That is glowing. That is such a big beacon. I wonder if it only stays for the night. So I guess some of my plans are back on. Some of my plans have just been replaced with a shooting star, which I am okay with. Ooh, it's making a noise. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it's making a noise. Like a whistle. What is it? Mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. It looks like it would fetch a good price, but you may want to be able to use it in certain recipes as well. We will have to hold on to that. That's for sure. All right, so I went ahead and teleported to Lake Akala, and there's a reason for it. So if you guys remember, there was this development area down here, actually, and I, I think we glanced at it for a bit, but that was like, that was it. Also, fairy fountain over there. Um, but if you remember, I believe Hudson was set up here, and there's actually a bit of a side quest that involves him. So we're going to be doing a little bit of errand running, and all that fun stuff. Also, yes, I get it, you've started playing StarCraft. Terrytown. Hey, Hudson. Hey, we meet again. Who are you again? I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. Oh yeah, I remember. Me too. So what are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. Good idea. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough... Enough... Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help you out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. Eh, I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses to, for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have ho homes. Uh, do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and uh, get started on a few houses. I think we've already got ten bundles of wood. Excellent. Can I have them? Sure. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... Uh-huh. 
These boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. It's really helped me out if you could find someone with enough fi brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength? Yeah, if we were talking about brute physical strength, we are, and we are, a Goron would be my first choice. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson uh, construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. If you run into anyone that fits with uh, what I've said, send them to Berrytown or Terrytown for me. All right. Well, we have just recently met someone with the name Sun. Um, we're actually gonna go down here. We're gonna go back to Goron City. We're gonna run back down to the Southern Mining. And we're going to do that. But we are going to make a pit stop on the way. If I can find that lady that has the um, the side quest for the Ambers, we're going to talk to her. Wake up! Okay, well, I guess we're uh, going to take a nap. Because she is not waking up. Rudania has stopped. Thank you. Anyhow, back to business. 20 rupees. Do you want to learn a Goron massage? A massage? New to the art of Goron massage, I take it. That's okay. First time for everything, as they say. Goron style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze the tension out. But I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly, honestly, I doze off sometimes. When it's all over, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. Ah, uh, let's try a bed and massage. Let's sleep until noon, that way she has enough time to wake up. And then we're gonna have to sleep again anyway to fast forward time. Hey Vulcan, we got a customer! Got you covered, buddy. <laughs> just, just... Oh, poor Ling's gonna get broken into, isn't he? Poor Link. I think they broke Link in two. But we get extra hearts and energy, nice. Nice, we got three extra hearts too, which is not bad. Okay, so using the um, the uh, quest tracker, you can find these people easy. The daytime sure is scorching here. In any case, do you have 10 pieces of amber? Would you like to sell them to me? Um, she'll sell them for 500, yeah, I'll sell them. Nice, good way to make money. I need to produce other jewels too, so keep bringing me what you find. Bring me ten at a time, got it? As for what jewels I want to buy, well, that's likely to change every once in a while. Uh, ten rubies. Okay, so this is... Oh, God, that's a lot of money! Okay, so that's actually a really nice way to make money. Do I even have ten rubies? I doubt I do, but... Let's sort these. Um, no, I have two, but that's fine. That's actually really cool. Okay, so the people in um, the Southern Mine, they won't talk to us unless it's nighttime, so we're going to have to sleep and come back at night. Uh, yeah. Alright, and here we are, we're talking to Grayson again. Is there a job out there that let me use my strength to make a difference? There is. Funny you should ask. Huh, there is? Where? Please, tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown. Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? Mm-hmm. Akala, Terrytown, so there's somewhere out there that needs me. Akala isn't too far from here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron is hot. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pal uh, Palacin and I are gonna head there right away. While I'm at it. Palacin, we gotta leave! Hmm? Huh? And with that, they will head out to Terrytown. In the next episode, we're probably going to finish out more quests for Terrytown. But uh, for now, we're actually going to go do something else. We're, um, we're going to actually go and talk to this alien. How's it going, buddy? Sure is hot around these parts, ain't it? Even at night, like you wouldn't believe. But these folks from Goron City, I'll tell you, sure are amazing, huh? Eating a hot, even eating hotspot, even in this heat. I'm on my way back from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some of those fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers are quick. Say, so you look pretty speedy. I bet you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll even give you some heat-resistant armor. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out of jam by capturing some fireproof lizards? Great, thanks, buddy. Just ten fireproof lizards should be enough. You could probably find some around, right around here, even. 
Cool, so we have fireproof roundup to do as well. We've got some with the crickets, some with the fireproof lizards. I'll try and take care of those off screen. Also, that was a great catch on my part, because I totally did not have my button on the A or my hand on the A button. I'm gonna go ahead and break up a few more of these, but I am actually going to fast travel to the shrine, and I'll meet you guys there in a bit. Forgot this was in the middle of lava, but it should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and use Magnesis, and instead of going that way, we're actually gonna go off the back side of this. So slow and steady wins the race, don't forget that. I like how this guy's just waiting to attack me. Now he's dead. See what happens when you try to attack Link, you end up dying. It's like you should have known or something. Let's try and fix this one if we can. Or I'll just make the entire situation worse. Sounds beautiful. Also, I like how the lava can splash. It's actually a really nice effect. Okay, what we're gonna do... I'm gonna move this over. We're gonna climb up this rock. You know, best strategy ever. And we're gonna fly... I could almost make it all the way, actually, if I would have thought that through. Okay, now what if I grab this and I pull it towards me? Okay, I was hoping I could push this, because actually I might be able to. I think I might be able to just slowly move it through. See, this is an excellent idea. I engineer things. Physics in the... Uh, Legend of Zelda world aren't the best! Oh, hi! Like I was saying, physics in The Legend of Zelda aren't... Oh... How am I gonna... If I stub my toe, I die. Oh, look at those skills! I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that one. Alright. So... Coming up here... This is... Kind of tall, actually. Um... Should have enough stamina to make it, though. I'm not gonna... Tempt it any further? Actually, I might... I kind of want to hold on to that extra stamina. Might give myself... A bit of a refill. Not a whole lot, but... Certainly not enough, but I'm going to keep some of that extra stamina gauge. That's what I like about having the expanded stamina gauge. Look, it actually came in handy, guys. No, I'm dumb. I'm like, that's why I'm not finding it. I'm like, I don't recognize where I'm at. It's because I'm on the wrong side of this goddamn rock. Oh, guys, this is the curse of knowing way too many things. Okay. Glad I didn't just fall in. That would have been embarrassing. It's on the other side of this, like, peninsula-like object. You know, really, I don't have a whole lot to comment on here, and that's shocking. I don't really like to talk, except for I don't. That terrified me for a moment. I wasn't expecting him to talk. And so when he did, it, it scared me. Okay. I have to go up here. See, now I'm, I'm recognizing this a bit better. I'm sure there's a better path up here, but... Meh. I don't care. I do hear bad guys. Daruk, protect me! There we go. Nope. Not this is, it's another Korok spot. You know what I say to that? I say no. So what are those? Are those more... more luminous stones? I'm gonna mark those. I'll go get those after this episode's done. Okay. So now we have a memory here. And actually, I want to identify which one it is before... Or... You know, honestly, I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's this one. Anyway, here we go, guys.
That doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. So it does look like they had some warning, at least, before Ganon's full revival. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go and call it here for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, go and subscribe. If you think your friends and family would also enjoy this video, please share it around, and hopefully they'll enjoy the content as well. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.